G'day, in this section you're going to be looking at superannuation and how that works with the graphic calculator and how it starts as a future value question and ends up being a present value question. A super starts off, a super question starts off as a future value question because you're saving the money up to exist in the future. You're saving it and the lump sum of money is going to exist in the future. So it's going to be a future value question. When you retire, when you do retire, it turns into a present value question because the lump sum of money that you're going to be using exists now. So money exists now, you saved up, future value, the money exists now, it turns into a present value because you're going to spend it. Make sure with all these questions that you read it very carefully to see what's happening. Let's have a look at a question. A typical question would look like this. You're planning to retire in 35 years' time and decide to start depositing money into a superannuation fund. You can deposit $600 per quarter in an account that pays 8.2% compounding quarterly. So, retire in 35 years' time. You're putting $600 per quarter, so it's a regular series of payments or deposits, into an account which is going to exist in the future. So it's going to be a future value question. Question 1. The amount that you have when you retire at 55. Question two, when you retire, you expect to roll it over into a superannuation fund. Question three, how much do you expect to live on? And question four, how long is your money going to last? Let's look at each of these separately. The first one is a future value question. The money exists 35 years time, regular series of deposits. So on the calculator, N, I, P, V, payment, F, V, PY and CY. Fill in what you know, which is 35 years quarterly, $600 per quarter, 4 and 4. When you solve that, you'll have $472,171.34. So that is your super that you have when you retire. Part 2. When you retire, you roll this over. This means that you're taking the, group, the, the stack of money that you have and turning it into a present value question and drawing money out of it. So, the account pays 6% compounding monthly. How much will you be able to withdraw each month so that the money lasts for 15 years? Okay, so you're drawing, withdrawing money each month and it's lasting for 15 years. So it's a present value question because you're taking out money, a series of payments, over a period of time. So, what happens is the future value that you had before from here goes into here as a present value. Make sure the numbers are right. 15 times 12, because it's 15 years monthly, by six. Present value comes from what your future value was, because the future value has now turned into a present value question. Payment you don't know, because that's what you're trying to find. Zero. Payments per year are 12, compounding period per year are 12. Check these to make sure you change them. On your calculator, you can just transfer the number straight up to here and you're solving for payment. And you'll get $3,984.45 per month. That's what you can live on. That's gonna last you the 15 years. Now, is that gonna be enough money? If at age 20, you're used to living on $3,500 per month, and inflation runs at 2% over the 35 years, will your standard of living be maintained? Or in other words, will $3,500 per month be enough in 20 years time? So this is a compound interest question. FV, PV, I and N. Future value is what you're wanting to have each month. Present value is what you've got at the moment. I is the interest rate or the inflation rate in this case. And N is the number of years. So PV, what your standard of living now is or how much money you live on per month. I is 0.02 because that's 2%. N is 35. Put that into the calculator you'll end up with $6,999.61. So, $7,000. So if you're living on $3,500 a month at the moment, you're going to need $7,000 a month when you retire. So how long will your money last if you're going to keep that standard of living going? Well, once again, present value question. N you don't know, that's what you're trying to find. How long will your money last? I is 6. That's your present value, that's how much money you've saved up. This is what your payment's going to be. Future value is zero, payments per year is 12, compounding period per year is 12. You'll end up having 82.49 months, and if you divided that by 12, you get 6.87 years. So if you're going to keep your standard of living, 
it only can last 6.87 years, nearly seven years on that kind of money. So it means you will need to increase your super to be able to do that. There's a few assumptions that we're making whenever we do a super question. One, that your rates stay the same, both on investment and also when you are withdrawing the money out. That inflation is steady because that might go up or down. We haven't taken into account any bank fees or charges because they will erode your money. We haven't taken into account tax. And we're also saying that when you retire, you owe everything. You own everything. So you don't actually have to pay for anything. So that doesn't eat out of your super. The other thing is that you've got to take into account is that when you get older, you may have health issues. So instead of just having $7,000 per month, you might need some more. So all these assumptions need to be taken into account when calculating super.